You ever feel like your golf game just isn't improving no matter how many lessons you take? With simple exercises and specific movements, you'll feel the difference on the course immediately. There are also sample programs to help you get started. Click the link below to get started for free. Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to my channel in Reborn Golf. My name is Justin Langhill. Today I'm gonna to show you how to do some warm-ups for golf, some exercises if you don't happen to be very flexible, uh, very mobile. Uh, this is a very quick workout. It's not even really a workout. It's gonna be a mobility program, quick five or six exercises to get you ready for your golf round, or something that you can do very simply in the morning just to get ready for your day. So all of these exercises are gonna be able to be done on the floor. You won't have to get up. This is one of the things that I preach to a lot of people is that for golf exercises specifically, it doesn't involve me uh, being drenched in sweat, right? It's just mainly focusing on the foundational movements that I need to do so that one, my correct muscles are warmed up for a round of golf, and two, down to a foundational movement pattern where I'm moving my mobile joints the way they're supposed to be moved in a 360 way. Uh, for example, my shoulder is a ball and socket joint, so I need to be moving that <laughs> the way it's designed to be moved, 360. My knee is not. My knee can only move one way, but it is it, it's an important piece of the puzzle because it connects my hamstrings to my calves. Uh, these muscles cannot be stretched by just touching my toes to warm up. That is more of a cool down method. That's a, a, a topic for another day. However, um, I do wanna make sure that those muscles are warmed up just uh, the same as a mobile joint, but because golf utilizes the mobile joints much more and puts added pressure on those joints, we, we really need to make sure that those are warmed up. Uh, so the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna foam roll, and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to foam roll uh, my upper back as well as my inner thighs. I'm gonna put the foam roller right on the uh, right on my inner thigh here, and then just use my body support to go left and right. Now, if you've never done this before, if this is if this happens to be your first time doing this, it's gonna probably feel very tight, <laughs> and that's okay. Just explore. There's no right way to do it other than this position. So after you get in this position, it's all up to you to find where those tight areas are and just really work them out. Spend a little extra time on the ones that feel a little more painful than, than others. Personally, what I like to do when I'm in this position as well, while I'm rolling, I'll extend my right arm, maybe get a back crack or two. And the other side, I would have done my left. Always make sure you're breathing. Now I want to get my upper back. So I'll start at the bottom, my lower back. Same thing as what I was doing with my inner thigh. I'm looking for any problem areas, rotating left and right. Getting my QL muscles, extremely important muscles in the golf swing. And now what's important here is I'm going to get to the mid back. And something I'm going to do before I start targeting my upper back is I'm actually going to just kind of cross my arms here and just let my back extend. I'm using the foam rolling to create added extension. And I'm just getting my upper back extended before I go roll into it. In this position, I like to flex my neck. Ooh, maybe the microphone picked up that crack like a chiropractor. A good way to get the muscles in your back is to extend the hands out to a prayer position, really reach, it exposes a lot of muscles back there. Find those problem areas, hang out there a little bit, explore your hand motion, explore some arm movement. Can't really get in trouble here. Another good way to get some muscles back there, if you're gonna rotate left or right or just add a little extra pressure, is by kind of hugging yourself, make sure your elbows are nice and high. You can switch. Awesome. Now, those are two foam roller exercises, mobility movements to warm up what we're about to do next. This next movement is called the 90-90 with a reach. So I'm using the couch as a support in this instance. So I'm gonna start by doing 90-90. Basically means that I have a 90 degree angle in my knees. And then when I land and get down here, I wanna see 90-90 as well. Now, or how I'm using the couch is I wanna keep my chest square forward. I'm not gonna move quite yet into the reach. This is just a 90-90 hip mobility movement. If I'm really going to do it correctly, I'm gonna get all the way down to the end to give a nice breath. 
and then the leg that's going to go back this way, my left leg, I'm going to try to go as far as I can before I have to bring my right leg trailing with it. I want to feel both elbows against the couch. Really push into that end range of motion. Now where the reach comes into play is I'll pop out a little bit. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into that 90-90 using my hands for support. Then I'm going to rotate with it this time. While I'm here at the end range of motion, I'm going to use my left arm to reach over as far as I can go. I'm going to do three reaches, breathing the end range of motion each time. Then I'll send that arm back over here, rotate, and reach into this one. Do two more of those. Okay, in my 90-90, reach. So notice, before I went into the reach portion, I did some 90-90s against the couch first to warm up my hips to be isolated. So the, the hips did all the work in the first section of that. Now I'm adding a little lower back, some glutes, stretching the QL, even getting a little lat stretch. As I reach, shoulders are active. Quads are active. And I'm just moving. I'm just moving on the ground like a baby. All right, next stretch is gonna be a, a frog stretch or a shoulder over under. So I'm gonna get in a position like so. Now, for those of us who aren't super mobile, uh, this is definitely a position you should be able to get in like this. This one might be a little difficult here. Now, from this position, I'm gonna do it both ways. So you have an example. Uh, in this quadruped position, my feet are flat against the couch. And what I would do first is a couple rock backs. So I'm gonna extend and then use my hands to push back. Breathing into that end range of motion. Okay, just warming up the hips in a different way. So first my hips were moving left and right, now I'm moving forward and back. Seeing what's tight, what's not. Now from this position, the one that's a little bit easier, kind of just going into child's pose. Make sure you rock. What I'm trying to get into is that shoulder stretch as well. So in this case, I'm gonna have my feet flat on the ground here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get, let's, I'm gonna stretch my left arm first. So I'm gonna put my right arm a little bit uh, in the center up here. And I'm gonna be sitting back. Uh, I'm gonna be sitting back pretty good here, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my palm up, rotate underneath and reach as far as I can. Then I'm gonna bring this arm, grab my wrist, push out, and then drop my head down. Okay, now what I'm gonna do from here is I'm gonna push my hand out and bring my back the other way. Okay, so a good separation of the lower back all the way up to the shoulder. A couple breaths. And what I want to do is I want to rock. I want to make movements. I don't want to hold the stretch for X amount of breaths. Probably one or two. And then I'm just going to move my upper body. See, my lower body is completely locked in place right now, so that's good. But I want to explore my mobility. Okay, so left, right side over now. Grab with my left wrist, push out, lean down. Reach. Feel that. Push. Okay, now from here, I'm actually glad I have this uh, extended L. Because what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my golf club, or you could also take the yoga block. No issue either way. Let's see if I can go with this. Yeah, it shouldn't be an issue. Uh, I'm going to use the couch as kind of my anchor. Um, I could do two things here. I could do a Russian twist and I could do a sit up. The way, what I'm intending to do looks like my cat wants to play with the golf club. Taught her well. So, Russian twist would look like this. We, won't, we don't want to have uh, too much weight here. This isn't so much as a fitness training exercise as it is uh, the mobility piece. So, the best way to get mobility in golf is to open up 
one side while locking the other. So in this case, my lower body is locked. I'm gonna lean back just a little bit. I wanna keep this pointing directly at my chest as if it were tied together and rotate. Now that my hips are a little warmed up, this is gonna be easier than if you did it without warming up those hips. Because now I've at least began some sort of rotation and you can imagine how that translates to golf. Right, if I don't warm up my rotational abilities, then it's gonna take a while for them to get really warmed up, especially with speed. Now another thing I can do is a full sit up down to the ground and reach up. Okay, could also add a rotation in there. Down, up, rotate, down, up, rotate. Okay, that's all on your time, whatever you plan to do, but obviously uh, notice that I'm adding the compound movement after I've done more of the warm up. The last movement we're gonna do is a lunge with a rotation. There's a couple different variations I wanna show you. Uh, we're at the end of the mobility movements, and this is definitely the best one. Again, I'm locking my lower body in place just to mobilize my upper body. For those of you who want power and distance, this is the way you're going to do it. A stable lower body as well as a mobile upper body. Right? we got to get rid of that tightness, and you have to move to do so. Stretching just isn't quite going to cut it. So I'm in a lunge, and the first thing I'm going to do is anchor. So I'm going to be very stable here, and I want to mobilize my ankles. Right, Ankles are a part of that joint family where... It moves in a bunch of different directions, so I want to train it as such. I got to warm it up as such. So I'm gonna start here, and we're going to go right over the toes. I'm gonna to push my knee over my pinky, and then we'll go inside the big toe. Very important. I want to keep my heel locked to the ground. The second it starts to want to come up, exercise over. Start bringing it back in. So here, notice heels on the ground. Go to the left. And all right, I'll do that a few times. Explore the range of motion. From there, I'm gonna add my rotation. So I wanna make sure my knee's over my ankle and rotate. Now, what I'm making sure of here is that I'm nice and slow. And as I go into the rotation, I'm gonna use my right arm to pull, get a little extra on this side, left arm pull, 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 okay? You wanna make sure you don't lean back, stay forward. Feel the weight forward while you're rotating, ensuring that stability. Another thing I'm gonna to add to this, arms overhead. Do some side to side movements. Also able to pull with the golf club down to that side, down to this side. So we're keeping everything mobile, always moving. And then another thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get into the side lunge. This would be a good place to bring in the yoga block, a little extra support, extend this right leg. And I'm gonna do some rock backs like we did before. Isolating that hip now. You can even add some rotation. Multiple sides. Really getting that body warmed up, opened up. Let's do the other side. So right leg forward in that lunge. I'm gonna be 90 degrees here, 90 degrees in the back. If you weren't able to see it or notice before, I have my foot kind of anchored to, anchored to the couch. So I'm even more stable, when, especially when I'm doing those side to sides. So explore that ankle. Keeping the heel on the ground, using my weight to shift everything. Got my support on the left. This is ankle dorsal flexion is great for stability. Keep in mind while we're at the golf course, it's not a dead flat road, right? It, there's a lot of hills, ankles are moving. You have to, a lot of the time, create and make a golf swing on an uneven surface. So having bad range of motion in your ankles, you know, consider the balls below my feet and your feet are kind of in that obtuse angle. To make a swing like you would on a, on a flat ground is not gonna be the same throughout your body as it will on flat, on flat ground, right? So these are, these are the types of movements that are gonna help me when I get in those situations. Okay, then a little forward, pull, slow, pull, slow, pull. 
comes up, makes a reach. And you can go as long as you want, as much as you want. Whatever feels good for you. Extend it a little bit. Okay, remember, we do some rock backs on this side. You're probably really gonna feel this, but again, thankfully, we did the foam roll prior where I already started to warm those muscles up. Very rarely do those muscles get touched by a lot of people. So if you're doing these for the first time, it's gonna feel tight, no doubt about it. But you will be amazed and surprised how well your mobility and stability increase. The body is very adaptable in a short amount of time. So those are just five exercises, five movements, five stretches, dynamic stretches that you will be able to do to warm up for a round of golf or just a general day. Clearly, all of these can be done with, I have three pieces of equipment, cheap, not including a whole set of golf clubs, uh, but that's, <laughs> that's adaptable. It can be a broomstick. And um, from there, I'm just adding variations, adding twists, making sure that one side of my body is locked. And uh, that's what golf fitness is, really. So uh, if you enjoyed this video, uh, make sure you like, subscribe, leave me uh, some information in the comments on what exercises you guys like to do. I'd love to do more videos on different variations to help you out. And uh, if you're looking for any more information on golf fitness especially, I did create a roadmap, a free guide uh, to help you get started. It's got nutrition tips, it's got uh, exercises that I like to do, some sample programs in there. Go check it out. Link is in uh, my description uh, as well as on my Instagram at Justin underscore Langhill. Go check that out and uh, be happy to help you guys let me know.